Well, hey there, how are you? So I got a really interesting one here for this video, and it's actually some positive news. Uh, probably one of the most positive Ford-related news I've read in a while. So this is really good for us true enthusiasts who love the internal combustion engine. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this really awesome news about the Ford V8s and what it means for them and the future of the Ford V8 internal combustion engine. Okay, so out of all the crazy, just boring EV news, um, this little article of just a glimmer, a little shimmer of hope in the wonderful world of combustion engines has shined through and uh, give, given me hope, especially for the Ford brand, um, that there is still quite some life left in the Ford V8 internal combustion engine. So uh, this is an article from the Windsor Star. I'm, I'm sure it's a Canadian news outlet um, for the Windsor plant there that Ford has in Canada. They are responsible for most of the V8 production. They've always have been some of the best Ford V8s that most people love and know have been produced there. There's so many awesome things that came out of that plant, and there still is. Of course, right now, that's where they produce the 7.3 Godzilla um, Big Block V8 and the all-known and loved Coyote engine. So the 5-liter V8 is also made there. So this article dates uh, just a few days ago, April 19th, and uh, it's Windsor engine plant still part of Ford's long-term plan. So that's already a great headline, right? Like that's just like, okay, cool. Um, but how long-term is long-term? Well, let's keep reading. Despite Ford Motors Company's aggressive push into the electric vehicle market, the company has reassured Unifor officials that it sees the internal combustion engines produced in its Windsor plants as an important product offering until 2040. Holy crap, that's a long time from now. Like 2040 extends out how, like that goes further than a lot of the deadlines and stuff that the world is placing on internal combustion engines. So that's really good. Obviously there's more use to an internal combustion engine, especially for Ford, um, than in something like the Mustang and whatnot for the V8s, obviously trucks, you know, not everything is going to be able to switch quickly and efficiently to EV and battery powered, um, you know, but I guess the, the goal is at least a limit it, right? So um, with that said, we'll go on to the next part here, which reads, uh, Unifor Local 200 President John D'Angelo met with Ford Vice President of America's Manufacturing John Savona and Vice President Labor Affairs Kevin Legal last week in Toronto for an update on the company's plans for its Canadian operations. Quote, there's still a long way from getting out of the combustion side when it comes to the trucks, end quote, um, is what D'Angelo had said, quote, they do not see until 2040 before they get out of the combustion side of it right now at their plans for the next three years, and it's steady at both sites, Essex engine plant and the Annex engine plant, and I was quite happy with that, end quote. So that's coming from uh, John D'Angelo, which is one of the presidents there for, the, for Ford and their Canadian plants. So that's really good. It's really good that they see a, you know, for at least 2040, which from right now in 2022, 18 years away. Now, to some that it's not really a lot of time, but that's a lot more time than we th sometimes think we have when it comes to these kind of engines, especially the V8s. So if we go and read a little bit further down, However, Ford has made it clear it will continue to rely on its Windsor-built engines to power its most popular, most profitable products, including the F-Series pickup trucks and the Mustang, which of course is the two only vehicles that utilize the V8 engines. So yeah, rightfully so. They were quite positive that they were gonna make profits to invest into battery electric vehicle side right now those trucks engines are the bread and butter and they're not going to make any changes whatsoever when it comes to that as in getting rid of them because the truck sales and just those vehicles in general because they do sell so well that's how ford is acquiring money to invest into its ev production so you know 
they can't just fight themselves by getting rid of gas engines. It's it's a tricky game they got to play, but they got to pick and choose where they keep engines and don't. But the V8s obviously make Ford money. So Ford can't switch if they don't have money. So that means they can't get rid of the V8. So that's kind of a good thing for us enthusiasts. D'Angelo said the company confirmed demand for the Windsor built 5 liter and 7.3 liter and the soon to be launched 6.8 liter engine remains strong. He added he expects the transition to EV products will likely come more quickly than anticipated with the evolution of technology. The federal government has also set a 2035 deadline for all new cars and light truck sales to be electric. So with that though, um, with that said, that's the sale of new vehicles. Obviously Ford can still offer replacement engines um, for existing vehicles so they still need to be able to produce them and they can offer crate offerings too because you can buy the five liter Coyote and the 7.3 as a crate engine. So there's always that as an option um, they just said they can't offer it in new vehicles, right? I don't know maybe if there is a stipulation to that or not, but it means they'll still at least produce the gas engine five years past the new car sale deadline where they have to only sell EVs unless something changes between now and then. But as far as the pickups go, um, as they say, they do not fall under the federal ban. And I guess that's because realistically, battery, you know, that technology is not mature enough yet to be efficiently used in a vehicle like a like pickup truck so there's there's that um but the mustang unfortunately will probably be switched over way sooner so this is the weird part though when it comes to the 6.8 liter something i still have a hard time wrapping my head around um whether it's true or whether it's just corporate mumbo jumbo excuse whatever it says that the addition of the new 6.8 liter engine at the windsor's annex annex plant was supposed to create a third shift this fall, but hiring has been paused and the launch of the shift is unknown because of the microchip shortage. You know, and they go and say that the chip shortage is causing this, but they go ahead and, and it says down here, it says, uh, the angel said the 1700 chips required for an electric F-150 Lightning are eight times the number of the current F-150. So, Okay, obviously they have prioritized their, the available chip supply to the F-150 Lightning. That's what that says to me. So because they have prioritized that, which is eight times the number of a normal F-150, they have basically delayed the process of creating the necessary staffing to properly get this new 6.8 liter going. So, I mean, Let's be real, to produce the engine, you don't really need anything. And there's, you know, some control modules and stuff like the, that you go on the engine. But, you know, as for the whole vehicle, how is that really affecting the Windsor plant? It shouldn't be. So I don't know what to think of that. But, you know, what I see here is they're prioritizing supply to fill these F-150 Lightnings because obviously... That's what they want to do, and they want to make sure that they look good, so they have to make them first, I guess. But for the most part, all of this really means that Ford is not ready to get rid of their gas-powered V8s. And according to this, we still have at least till 2040 before they decide to actually axe production altogether. So we'll still have another 18 years of production of V8 engines from Ford before something happens. So that should produce a lot of engines for us to enjoy for many years to come until they completely ban the use of any type of fuel. And then of course, everything can just sit around as a beautiful relic or we can turn things into coffee tables and other types of furniture because what else are we gonna do? Maybe use a nice boat anchor on our electric powered boats. Anyway, I thought that would be a really cool thing to share um, some really positive news here and really good for all of us petrol heads all around so anyway if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already subscribe to the channel keep a lookout for the next true car enthusiast video